What's up, y'all? It is Mary. And Alma. And today we are going to be talking about something that Robin said on one of the tell-alls, you guys. And, you know, she said she felt like the family failed. Yeah. And she's embarrassed. Yeah. Because we put our family on TV and we were supposed to have this perfect family. And they let the family go to crap. Yeah. I think they it was... Let, let down the public, the persona... All of that stuff, and we we they not only failed among themselves, but they failed like failed the public, and also it, she said that they made a promise to each other, right? So it's kind of like you make this promise to stand the test of time, and then you bulk under the pressure. The pressure of not having a husband and a man who calls me fat and that um, I'm unattractive and he doesn't want anything to do with me. He basically pushes me out. I'm supposed to stand the test of time like that, like Mary. Even Mary got out eventually. Yeah. Even There was so much that even Mary could take. So yeah. I think it's very gastardly mm-hmm. for her to say that. Yeah. That's why sometimes, you know, I try to be, like, fair. Right. I think we try our best. Yeah, I think we do. But sometimes there's things like this that yeah. make us go and say... No, Robin, that's just the thing is, not I mean, something a good person would say. She still to speak up for that porch life that she wanted, that she didn't get. I think she misses you ruined the, the porch part. Life. And I think the thing is just lack of self-awareness because things just didn't happen in a vacuum. Like, um, you know, you've got to look at, well, what was what's the part that I played in it? And I think that's what... Um, Garrison and Gabriel, you know, um, when Garrison was here, they were trying to say, like, could you please try to make it fair between the time that our father spends with you and your family and the other wife's family because he has three other families, you know? And she never could understand that. In fact, you know, she kind of played victim right. with that crying and complaining to Cody, which ended up leading to the estrangement of the boys. Of the boys, which, you know, not trying to blame anybody, but certainly had an impact in, in what ended up happening, I feel, with yeah. Garrison. And it's not blaming and saying this is just it was just that no it definitely was not all but Cody's fault it certainly was part of it it, it, it was and part of his depression it was saying. certainly added to it yeah you know so um so yeah when I saw this on TikTok or on one of the shorts I kind of was just like huh certainly not a moment of self-awareness on her part yeah, her um, and Cody both lack that. Yeah, I will they, say. Yeah, and it's like they have this kind of talk to victim, cycle. like woe is me. Yeah, like you know, some like this is happening to me. I've been wronged. Like, oh my goodness, how embarrassing! How embarrassing is such a weird word to use, also, <laughs> with this whole thing. Like, yeah, like we so. didn't try. It really, I think she means. You all who are divorced, Cody, you didn't try. Try Because I also remember her saying that Cody's tired of holding this mantle. And I got to help him hold it. And, you know, we have to help him hold it. Because he has been holding it for a long time. He's been doing a terrible job at it. He's so tired. So... Really, what she means that is that Mary, not Mary, Christine and Janelle, Janelle need to stay put because yeah. he is the victim in all this. Certainly, Christine failed the family, did not keep her word. <laughs> and she's the cause as to why everybody divorced Cody. Say, Janelle, you stay put, right? And I still don't know if Janelle is totally gone. Mm, she still is in Flagstaff. I seriously doubt that she's having like I don't I doubt her and Cody have a marriage. Do y'all yeah. think that they still have a marriage? Actually, I, I don't know. Okay, remember that time she was kind of annoyed with Christine for like, you know, 
like, like woe like, is me you like, can't leave like i am strong like you know i've like, left yeah like i have left okay so she has left <laughs> but she has left but she's staying in flagstaff that's because her, her are family there. right okay yeah so she has left um i think robin understands mary finally going Robin understands right now. Well, Cody made it clear. Said, you keep this shenanigans up that I love this woman. And you are not going to have a damn problem. You saw the little yeah. the little sign he made with yeah. his two fingers pointing at her. And then yeah. had the thumb up. <laughs> I was like, Eesh. And then drove off and left her there I, sitting on the porch. In her tears. Yeah, not on the porch, but on the bench. Looking like a falulu. Hot <laughs> mess. But yeah, y'all, that was just our two cents know, on this embarrassment. I know when she talks about the embarrassment and the failure, she certainly is not talking about herself. The audacity. That she failed or, or stuff like that. I think she's really pointing the finger at without Christine. Really point, without saying it blatantly. Well, we but, all know who yeah. she's talking about. And it's the lady with the blonde hair. The long blonde the one of hair. The ladies. <laughs> they all have blonde oh and that's right i forgot about that except for robin right yeah isn't it interesting that he had all blonde women but only he got his last wife was a brunette i thought it was interesting guess what that's his first choice the brunette yes that's what i'm thinking yeah we are just talking we have to talk about that on women's corner because i thought what you said was very poignant really i did i did that one stuck to with me But yeah, y'all, we'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.